a uh, today topic uh, embryo okay today topic embryo okay students i am an edible hello 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 students ah uh, sir good morning sir i am good morning i am edible ah uh, okay sir okay yesterday endosperm completed endosperm means triploid <laughs> condition primary cen primary endosperm formed by the fusion of second male gamete okay second male gamete fused with secondary nucleus secondary nucleus is located at the center place of embryo sac okay center place of embryo sac that is endosperm endosperm topic yesterday uh, finished okay then today embryo okay okay first fertilization in first fertilization first male gamete fused with egg in embryo okay that is first fertilization okay after fused form a zygote zygote under division then form a embryo okay today topic fifth chapter embryo okay fifth chapter embryo okay <clears throat> see here clearly okay here embryo development this is embryo sac already discussed two three classes this is pollen tube right side and then enter into the micropyle that is this is porogamy okay centrally located uh polar nuclei okay this is polar nuclei this is polar nuclei this is uh, first egg nuclei is there that is first fertilization first male gamete fused with the egg that is first fertilization and second male gamete fused with secondary or polar nuclei that is that is second fertilization okay second fertilization form a endosperm yesterday discussed today embryo okay after fused with egg form a zygote zygote undergoes divisions form a embryo okay okay <clears throat> see the diagram this is the embryo sac embryo sac structure already know okay embryo sac embryo sac structure okay embryo sac first started one uh, form a one big vacuole then after form a two celled conditions that is apical cell and basal cell this stage is called pro embryo this stage is called pro embryo okay that is pro embryo structure pro embryo structure this is embryo sac okay all parts we know polar nuclei antipodal cell upside downside micro micropylar region okay surrounding integuments or ovule walls this is yellow color tube like structure is there na that is pollen tube this is the whole structure of embryo and embryo sac inside embryo sac okay this is the apical cell of formation okay the polar organization excel okay and zygote form a large vacuole at the basal end see here basal end this is uh, the first the first part or first diagram is zygote zygote showing two celled condition that is apical cell and second one is basal cell okay upside apical cell lower side is basal cell then apical cell again divided into 
form a four celled that is t uh, type linear cells formed okay upside then lower side basal cell is there that is eight cell condition okay eight celled condition apical daughter cell embryo is eight celled condition this condition is first called pro embryo condition two celled condition is pro embryo this is the whole structure of plant life okay this is the flower okay uh, flower shows petals sepals and stigma ovary okay after fertilization then develop, developing megasporophyll and megasporangium and microsporangium and microsporangium gives microsporophylls megasporangium megaspores okay both are fused okay megasporophylls megaspores in mitosis and microspores means gam pollens and embryo fused form a fertilized product that is fruit then after fruit giving seed okay seed contain different organ that is embryo endosperm seed finally seed germinated then form a complete tree this is the whole plant life cycle okay all stages we are studied now uh, embryo we are studied embryo okay next this is the structures okay synergids uh, super nuclei polar nuclei okay here two cells is there na polar tubes that is generative i tuber nucleus both are male gametes fused with u egg and secondary nuclei this is the first part over and this is the sperm nucleus both are commonly called sperm nucleus after sperm nucleus are uh, fused with two places one is egg and second one is polar nuclei already discussed finally form a zygote zygote giving embryo after two celled condition pro embryo okay this is the structures next embryo complete structure dicot embryo embryo complete structure okay dicot embryo complete structure okay embryo of monocots having only one cotyledons only one cotyledons okay monocot embryo having a only one cotyledons commonly called monocots dicots shows how many cotyledons dicots hello students hello hello students hello yes yes sir yes. Ah, uh, dicot cotyledon. The dicot shows how many cotyledons? Two. Two. Good, good. Hello. Yes, sir. How many are there? Ah, good. Two cotyledons. Two cotyledons. Monocot shows only one, one cotyledon. Mm. Only one cotyledon. That's why we are called monocot. Okay. Especially in grass family means graminaceae. This cotyledon is called scutellum. Monocot commonly called scutellum. Cotyledon called grass cotyledon is called scutellum. Okay, scutellum. Okay, situated towards lateral side of embryonal axis. Okay, the lower end radical. Okay, and root cap enclosed sheath is called pollens. The sheath is called chlorins. Next, dicot embryo. See here, this is dicot embryo. Okay, the zygote give rise to an embryo by predetermined series of cell division. Okay, cell division giving 
all parts okay this process is called embryogenesis okay after cell division after uh, zygote undergoes cell division giving organs okay that is called embryogenesis okay embryogenesis embryo generated okay dicot embryo structure is there okay lower side cotyledons two cotyledons is there that is one and two see here two cotyledons one and two okay upside plumule okay plumule and epicotyle okay down side here root cap radicle and epicotyle this is the uh, dicot embryo structure okay dicot embryo structure okay a typical dicot embryo has two cotyledons okay two cotyledons attached to the embryonal axis embryonal axis this is the central portion is called embryonal axis okay embryonal axis that is attachment place two uh, cotyledons are attached at the point is called axis embryonal axis embryonic shoot apex is called plumule okay the shoot apex is called plumule okay this develops into the future shoot okay development of uh, shoots are started primule the point is called primule the embryonic root apex is called radicle okay radicle okay radicle is generated at the point of radicle okay commonly called embryonic root apex is radicle okay this develop into future roots and root system okay plumule is future shoot and radicle is future root plumule and radicle plumule radicle next part of axis above the radicle is called hypocotyl okay the part of axis above above the radicle okay above the radicle is hypocotyl and below below the plumule is called epicotyl above above the radicle hypocotyl below the plumule is epicotyl is epicotyl okay okay different types of um, uh, embryo embryo size there that is onogrado type and grass type different types of uh, embryonic stages is there in our uh, syllabus showed only onogrado or grassy cruciferous types okay onogrado or cruciferous type and in some of the plant shows different both apical and basal cell are responsible for the development of embryo that is aster type and uh, <clears throat> balsamine family shows this type of uh, development and witkesi astrace vialis okay these uh, four family shows this type of development that is asteroid type okay this is the primary structure of uh, second uh, the means what is the means of uh, dicot embryo primary structure of dicot embryo okay plumule is future shoot radicle is future root remaining hypocotyl okay axis above okay axis above the part is hypocotyl and below the plumule is epicotyl epicotyl next development of cruciferous type okay development of cruciferous type of embryo okay here zygote see one zygote is there after zygote giving two celled condition okay the first cell is upside 
that is apical cell and downside is basal cell this is two celled conditions two celled conditions commonly in dicotyledons that is pro embryo stage then after uh, cells are divided into linearly t cell type is cell structure is there then suspension cell structure or globular cell structure started here then after heart shape cell structure started that is suspension is there okay upside femurin shell next side side wall is called dermatogen and lower side is radical in shell this is heart shaped suspensor okay this is pro embryo heart shaped pro embryo finally formed embryo okay embryo and two cotyledons okay once again zygote giving two cells okay upper cell is apical cell lower lower cell is basal cell okay then after linear cell division started form a t shaped cell structure then after first a globular pro embryo after go globular heart shaped suspension suspensor cells okay here uh, first two is cotyledons upside then wall side dermatogen okay lower side radical in shape finally form a dicot embryo form finally this is the embryo okay next <clears throat> in the, the structure of monocot embryo next monocot embryo also we are studied that is scutellum okay this is the monocot embryo monocot embryo this is monocot embryo monocot embryo has large cotyledon only single cotyledon that is called scutellum this is scutellum okay monocot embryo grass scutellum upside single cotyledons lower side coleoptile and plumule okay downside radical root cap and and cholerangia okay this is the pots okay the monocot embryo has single large cotyledon scutellum and plumule radical are located in the position okay the plumule is protected by covering of leaf like structure is called coleoptile this is coleoptile covering the cotyledons okay the radical is protected by root cap next Polyhergia also. This is the monocot embryo. Monocot embryo. Next, development of grass type embryo. Okay, grass type embryo. Here, one zygote. Okay, here one zygote giving two cells. Same first cell is apical cell and second one is basal cell. Okay, apical cell and basal cell. Okay, third stage four cell to pro embryo. Okay, third stage is four cell to pro embryo. Next suspension style or suspension stage. Cotyledon initial started, then after plumule, radical, and coleorgia showing this is the cotyledon, single cotyledon, finally form a fully formed or finally formed complete embryo of monocot. Complete embryo of monocot. Okay. This is the development of grass type uh, 
embryo okay embryo the development of various organs of embryo or organogenesis occur 32 celled pro embryo okay 32 celled pro embryo this is 32 celled okay this is a easy way so the diagram one one cell giving two two to four four to cotyledon cotyledon to an uh, unmatured embryo okay shows plumule radical polygia finally form a embryo the stages of monocot okay this is the grass type of embryo next plant embryogenesis begin with an asymmetric cell division resulting a smaller apical cell and larger basal cell the symmetric division also here this is asymmetric division commonly shows asymmetric division okay here ternal cell is small and basal cell is larger okay then after these two cells again dividing then form a two cell embryos and downside suspensor cells next embryo developed four cells then remaining cells are suspensor finally globular stage is started globular stage undergoes cross section giving hypocotyl okay hypophysis and heart stage heart stage giving complete torpedo stage okay torpedo stage shows that is root meristem okay central place shows to root root meristem and down stage and down part is called cotyledons okay this is a common embryogenesis common embryogenesis see here diagrams okay apical cell and basal cell okay original uh, micro uh, electron microscopic pictures apical cell upside downside basal cell see here here also and here also this is photoden see here cotyledon two cotyledon okay this is axis okay after some divisions then giving complete uh heart shaped embryo complete heart shaped embryo 5 micron size is 5 micron sorry 50 microns okay here complete embryo formed okay here zootapex and two cotyledons axis root apex okay next a complete division again once again this is the diagrammatic division okay colorfully okay see here this is embryo sac okay upside antipodal cell downside micro micro pilar region okay downside egg cell is there centrally located uh, secondary nucleus okay after uh, fertilization double fertilization zygote is formed zygote zygote giving two cell conditions that is uh, upper cell is uh, uh, apical cell lower so lower one is basal upper cell is smaller smaller size all the size lower cell bigger size than apical cell okay then apical cell giving eight cell stage upside four okay downside uh, four upside cell is giving 16 cells then form a odd shaped or early globular shape 
globular shape to late globular shape late globular to again divided into form a seedling seedling shows two cartilages left side one cartilage and right side also one cartilage this is two cartilages is belongs to dicots dicot embryo okay downward primary root primary shoot is there this is the fundamental structure of embryo development fundamental structure of embryo development okay here also seeing zygote giving two cells okay that is cell embryo and suspension cell after suspension cell giving glob globular stage after globular stage giving heart shape heart shape giving complete torpedo stage complete torpedo stage showing two cartilages down side center place shoot meristem and root meristem okay all these are describing cell structure or formation of embryo okay dicot and monocot finally after uh, forming embryo then developing into seed okay the development of embryo is arrested soon after meristem cotyledons differentiated okay integuments integuments developing to seed coats okay Encloses the seeds with it, dormant embryo and stored food. Okay, this is seed coat. Integument converted into seed coat. Centrally arranged or located embryo. Okay, embryo. This is the information of embryo. Fifth chapter. Next chapter. Um, is there next chapter next unit okay next chapter next unit is there that is the uh, palynology okay palynology palynology also one of the unit uh, in our syllabus palynology chapter palynology chapter sorry unit Unit sixth, Palynology. Okay, students. Hello. Hello, students. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, embryo structure and the formation and apical basal cell division. Okay, finally form a heart shape. Heart shape giving a uh, final or complete embryo. Okay. 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 Next topic, uh, palynology. Okay, palynology unit sixth. Unit six, palynology. Ah, unit six, palynology. Palynology means the study of pollen grain. Okay, the study of pollen grains. The term palynology was first inter introduced by Hyde and Williams, nineteen ninety four. Nineteen ninety four. This is the Greek word. Palynology can be defined as study of spores and pollen grains. See here, different types of pollen grains is there. Okay, all these are pollen grains. All all the students are please be muted. Okay, students. 
ஜி த வேர்ட் introduced by Hyde and Williams 1994 Hyde and Williams see here phenology this is the pollen grain okay pollen grain pollen grain complete structure okay the study of pollen grain and other spores and their dispersal applications okay there are phenology okay phenology is a greek word okay phenology is a greek word pollen means microspore microspore of seed plants according to linnaeus 1751 next spore okay. the general term general term for the usually microscopic unicellular asexual reproductive unit of cryptogams cryptogams that is spore okay microscopic spore is microscopic unicellular asexual reproductive organ okay see all are pollen grains stem stem analysis stem analysis means scanning electron microscope image okay the selenius pollen particles all these are pollen particles okay pollen particles pollen having two covers okay two layers that is extine and intine a first brief history of pollen grains 1640 nehemia grew first microscopic kali observed okay next robert brown first noticed the importance of pollen okay next gopert first described pollen fossil pollen dr dr d d kuningo the first report of uh, illustrated account of airborne bioparticles next sufetal sufetal micrography of fossil spores okay next scanning electron microscope plus transmission electron microscope and ultra microscope giving new era pollenology the pollenology as a interdisciplinary science pollenology is a interdisciplinary science okay earlier earlier the lecture pollenology was only restricted to the study of pollen grains okay restricted study on pollen grains next presently it is uh, considered as and uh, interdisciplinary
पेलिनोलॉजी हम्म एप्लीकेशंस दट इज पाली नो टैक्सोनॉमी पाली नो टैक्सोनॉमी एंड एवोल्यूशनरी स्टडीज ओके पोलन ग्रेन्स आर यूज्ड इन पेली नो टैक्सोनॉमी एंड एवोल्यूशनरी स्टडीज ओके डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पोलन ग्रेन्स आर सपोर्टेड in the uh, classification or uh, taxonomic divide taxonomy taxonomic studies that's why pollen they are called polino taxonomy and evolutionary studies also used in evolutionary studies second one is aero biology and uh, allergy studies aero biology and allergy studies involves involves uh, <clears throat> geographic distribution involving geographic distribution and sees seasonal production geographic distribution and seasonal production of pollen grain a okay, different a uh, geographical areas uh, show different types of pollen grains okay different types of pollen grains that is called um, aero biological study aero biological studies that is aero biology studies okay means different places okay different places and different uh pollen grains different species carrying and studied different uh, uh characters in perinology branch that is useful study for taxonomy and different geographical region uh, status okay and impact on susceptible individual causing pollinosis okay pollen grains giving different studies okay different studies
Hello. Okay. Small disturbance, technical problem. Okay. okay. Next. Next. Uh, Minister of Pelnology means study of pollen iron spores found in honey or militopelinology, commonly called milito, militopelinology, the study of pollen grains in honey. Okay, honey beans, honey bees are uh, carrying or catching different types of pollen grains from different flower stigma. Okay. All types of pollen grains are gathering and attaching and uh, spreading in honey. Honey, okay. Honey uh, imbibed different types of pollen grains by the uh, help of or effect of bees. Okay. In honey pollen grain studies is called melitopalinology okay melitopalinology okay next <clears throat> next forensic palinology okay Pol forensic palinology forensic palinology means the study of pollen and other Polynomorphs for evidence in criminal investigation. Okay, at the time of different uh, types of accident and cases in the forest region, that time uh, <clears throat> uh, accused persons and uh, different types of uh, groups uh, having a in. Uh, pollen grains are attached attachment of pollen grains in or her um, on dresses on skin that time collecting different parts of uh, pollens or different parts of uh, bread samples all are collected in forensic department that time availing any type of plant products means pollens is available then study okay, which area which type of plant under the uh, situation is uh, our program is uh, started okay we are uh, investigated by the help of the different types of pollen grains okay that is forensic palynology next uh, what is the next bio stratigraphy and Geochronology, okay, means correlate strata and determine the relative age of given BED or bed formation or a stratigraphic sequencing. Okay, the giving data is analyzed by geochronology. Next, periochronology. Paleo, sorry, paleopalynology, okay, or archaeo, archaeo and geopalynology, okay. The critical study of pollens and spores from the sedimentary rock, okay, enable us to evaluate the past vegetation mainly used the biostratigraphy, uh, sorry, uh, paleo paleology, mainly studying the, the past vegetation. Once upon a time, here uh, located forest, here located garden, okay, here located big tree, okay, that the time of uh, studying, that time uh, useful for the past vegetation, okay, or complexes. Paleo ecology, paleo geography, okay, all are interrelated in this branch that is paleo palynology or geo palynology, okay. I am studying fossil, uh, 
fossil spores also okay fossil spores and pollen grains are microscopic in size abundant in number easy recognizable with diagnostic micro physiological characters in geological application of golden pollen pollen grains next palynology for improvement of crops okay palynology or pollen grains also participated in improvements of crops okay remaining application geology uh, paleo environments and paleo environments geo archaeology human diet and oil industry okay human diet and oil industry next uh, paleo botany next marine palynology marine palynology also one of the application the application of palyno fossils will be used in the evolution of seabeds seabed deposition that is quaternary palynology okay the studying of seabed deposits their age nature etc okay by putting deep sea drilling method in that time this type of pollen grains are giving large information okay large information next uh hereditman and father of palynology hereditman is father of palynology next father of indian palynology panchanan maheshwari or p maheshwaran krishnan okay palynology palynology depends mainly on four characters characteristics of pollens the first one is greater resistance to degradation okay most other plant pots second size okay their small size mostly less than 200 microns third morphological characters are complexity for production in enormous number okay the terminology next poroderm aperture all these are terms okay poroderm means covering or coating of this spore is called poroderm next aperture aperture is the thin wall of uh, upper side pollen grain upper cover is shows some thin walls that is called aperture okay aperture wall is very thin see here pollen grains triangle round shape and aperture all these are apertures okay see outer layer is giving some thin radial axis is there na this is aperture all these are original pollen grains okay original plant pollen grains in the stem analysis stem means scanning electron microscope okay scanning electron microscope pollen grains having two layers first one is outer layer that is exine and inner layer is called intine exine intine outer layer is exine exan is made up of sporopalynin okay and inner layer is cellulose and pectin in time that is in time exan in time two layer okay Polo, pollen grains having two coat layers that is exan in time exan made up of sporopalynin in time made up of or composed of cellulose and pectin okay see here coat pollen grain wall coats showing layers exine okay this is the outer wall showing exine and exine sub layers 
exine and exine. Then inside tectum and baculum also there. Okay, exine a complete outer layer is called exine. Exine again subdivided into ectine and endine. Okay, endine also subdividing layer is ectine and endine. Okay. Ectine again, tectum, palmella, foot layers. Okay, outer layer is exine, then inner layer is endine. Okay, outer layer exine again divided into two sub layers, ectine, endine. Okay, then ectine again, tectum, palmella, and foot layer. Okay, intern, inner layer again divided into two layers, that is ectine, endine. Okay. This is also ectine and dine. Ectine again, nexine, next sexine. Okay. Intine again, nexine and outer side sexine. This is the <clears throat> pollen brain structure. Next, NPC structure is there. Is there. Okay. Pollen grain shows pores and carpet. Okay, this is carp. One thin layer shows one uh, arrow type of uh, uh, symbol is there that is carpet. Carpi. Carpi means thickening or other modification of the uh, wall of pollen grain spores. This is thickening. Carpi. Okay. Next, porridge. Okay, all types of all types of pores is there on the outer wall that is porate okay this is the triplet pore one two three triangle type of pore is there on pollen grain gold color here monoporate upside single pore is there pore means hole okay single hole is called mono double means die tri means three holes means try okay uh porate pore means Hole and calc means ray. Okay. Call for it means call. Okay. For it means hole and one um, hole and grains having two sometimes two characters that is hole and aperture. That time you are calling call for it. Call for it means two characters hole and uh, thin walled structure on the upper layer that is carpet. Okay, see here four. Okay, a general term technology, a circular or elliptical aperture that is four. Mono pollen grains provided single pore that is monoporate. Okay, mono uh, sulcate like a single terminal furrow. Okay, furrow is sulcate and tricalpate means three ectocalp and three compound. Aperture. Okay. This is the characters. Next, Murray, regulate, anastomos. See here, porate. So one hole is there that is mono, monoporate. Okay. This is aperture. Okay. Try and die. Okay. Pollen characters have been grouped into seven characters. That is aperture. Pollen wall cat, uh, architecture, pollen unit, polarity, symmetric stage. Pollen grains are commonly showed round shape. Round shape, some pollen grains show hole, some pollen grains furrow, shows furrows. That is called common called uh, aperture and porate. Hole is called commonly called porate. Okay. Next. Uh, this is the morphology. Morphology, pollen grains having two cells, round shape, and some of the uh, upper layers showing different types of uh, um, architecture, uh, architectural characters is there. That is um, <coughs> diodes, monads, tetrads. Okay. Pollen units, pollen grains are produced within or another of the flower. Pollen mother cell originate from the sporodinous tissue. Okay. 
see here, this is the pollen units. A, single unit, B, double unit, okay, means two pollen grains are fused. Here, one, two, three, four units, B, four units, okay, H, linear units, B, T-shape, G, T-shape, round shape, and uh, octangular, diode, different types of polyods, okay, all these are the shape structures, okay, polarity means pollen grain shows two uh, regions, that is proximal pole, upper side, lower side, distal phase, distal pole, okay, upside proximal, lower side, distal pole, that is polarity, okay, see here, pollen grain is commonly uh, showing a round shape structure, upside, um, distal pole, Lower side, proximal pole, distal pole, proximal pole. Okay, two poles is there. So this is also polarity. Okay, one is isopolar, means distal and proximal phase above and below equatorial plane. Okay, equatorial plane showing two poles that is called isopolar. Bipolar means two polarity shows on one space that is bipolar c here a polar isopolar and c and d heteropolar okay this is a common a polar okay next b shows some dotted line is there upside one part and downside one part okay proximal pole okay a upside distal pole Downside proximal pole is there in B. The type of structure is called isopolar. Next, CD. Heteropolar. Okay. Heteropolar means one side pore, upside pore, downside no pore. Next, C showing three polar regions. It is heteropolar. Next, symmetry. Okay. Polarity showing. And our second character is symmetry. Pollen grains are four shows. Symmetry means equal parts, giving equal parts. Okay, this is the symmetry. Okay, giving three parts. One pollen grain giving three parts. A, B, C. Okay, C is showing one pole and D is showing two. Shape, round shape, they are no already. This is shapes, pollen grain shapes, angular and rectangular. Okay, round, circular, elliptical, all these are pollen grain shapes, angular shape, elliptical shape, circular shape, trigonal shape, quadrangular, okay, next, uh, obtuse, all these are shapes. Next, aperture means a thin wall structure, that is aperture. Function of aperture, passage of uh, emergent pollen tube, okay. Next, NPC system. This is the loss. Okay, NPC system is discovered by Erdittman, 1969. Proposed NPC system. Okay, NPC system. N means number. P means position on pollen grain. Next, C means character. Okay, NPC important. NPC. N means number. Whether singular or two or more. Okay. Number, pollen grain number. Next, P means position. Okay, P, polar means position, means polarity is there now. Upside, distal phase, lower size, approximate phase, that is position, showing position. Next, C, character. Character means shows different uh, shapes, circular, angular, rectangular. Okay, that type of all characters showing in C. Okay, that is NPC system. Discovered by Erdittman. Okay. The pollen number uh, N. N means pollen number. Groups are nine types. Okay. The grain without aperture is named as octane. Okay. Here, depending upon the number of aperture, the type of pollens are one character. Okay. The one character shows uh, the name is. Monotreme means 
with one aperture on the upper surface of the um, hole and grain. Okay. Next, this ditrium means two aperture. Okay, two aperture. Aperture means thin structure on hole and grain. Okay, two structure is there, ditrium. Three structures is there, titrium, tetratrium, pentatrium, hexatrium, polyp. Okay, that is three. See here, hmm, trim. Three means n one. Okay, holes. Here, here based on holes. Okay, one e hole is there. Mono die is two, three tri, tetra, penta, and poly. Okay, here polarity. That is number hole number. Here polarity. Okay, this is uh, acta and jona, di jona. penta polarities okay upper side and lower side next here c characters okay characters means center side and triangle and colpate porate colporate and porate characters okay here characters in pc classification of pollen grains by eredtman main stream here no characters next left left character shows only one hole on pollen grains here triangle triangle side of style of pollen grains next carpet carpet means one uh, arrow arrow type of uh, carpet structure means thin wall structure next porate single pore that is called porate next carpet okay this is the npc system okay n means number p means polarity c means characters pollen grains characters okay students on the basis of position of position characters dizatrim pentatrim means polarity five characters is there penta okay di means do two characters okay this is c okay leptom this is also same diagram okay no need np system also Hello, hello, students. Yes, sir. This is NPC system. NPC system. NPC system over. Okay, today topic also over. Okay. Okay, sir. Topic over. Okay, NPC system very important. Pollen grain shows NPC system is taught by Edith Mann. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Today class is over. Uh, next class in six or seven. Next class nine, sir. Ninth? Huh? Nine May. Okay, nine May. Okay, we will meet on ninth. Okay. Okay, okay sir. Till then, bye. Bye, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.